Hi bros, in today's episode I will show you how to secure properly powerful controllers in your eSchool. Those are small but powerful Flipsky 75100. Manufacturer is saying that one controller can handle even 100 amp, which is a lot compared to size. Also, inside those controllers we've got old style MOSFETs, so those will be crazy hot after a short time on full throttle, so we have to be sure that the heat from the shell from the controller will be split out around the frame otherwise we can easily overheat and damage those so we have to drill two or four holes in the frame to secure those controllers to split out the heat even better i recommend to add some thermal pads or if you are using even more powerful controllers like over 10,000 watts don't use thermal pads those are not efficient enough go with thermal paste then you will be sure that nothing bad will happen but for that power thermal pads are good enough also if you are using stock controllers which we can usually find in e-schools like 45 amps then you don't need to do that kind of mod because those controllers are like four times bigger than those and they are not heating that much like this small thing also, if you would like to do some shunt mode for that kind of controllers, links in the description so you can easily increase power of the stock controller even two times by adding a little bit of solder on one spot, then that kind of mode can be very useful. To secure this controller, I recommend it to tighten it to the frame. So we have to make two holes in the frame. One for this screw and one for the opposite side. For M4 screws you need this size three and a half. I want to place my controller somewhere in the corner, like maybe over here. And now we have to drill the hole through this frame. No worries, the frame will not break or it will survive, just no worries. it very well you don't want to have any metal pills flying inside your deck because it's so easy to get short circuit on any wires now it's moment of true did i mess it up or is it goody good yep it's perfect now it's time for this thing to make the thread in the hole of course and for size it's quite easy to use this tool all links in description This is standard quality thermal pad, not very efficient, but it will still do the job. Thickness around 2.5 mm. It will be great for this 75100 controller, as you can see. So now I will have to cut off small piece to be the same size like this flat surface on the controller. Use some alcohol to clean it. We have to peel one side of the thermal pad and let's place it on the controller. That's it. Some extra tip, if you'd like to be sure that the water will not get inside, add a little bit silicone in the hole, which we drill for the screw. I have to add four washers on M4 8mm screw, otherwise the screw is too long as going through the deck. This is just one stock 45 amp controller, it's like 4 times bigger compared to one of these small flip guys and like 10 times heavier, so this is really a waste of space. 
As you saw, it was pretty easy mode. I do recommend that if you would like to install more powerful controllers and be sure that they will not overheat. But if you have any other ideas how to install controllers, please share it in the comment section. And no worries if you will have to drill like four or eight holes to secure the controllers. Frame will not break. Just don't forget to add some silicone on the screws to prevent the water from getting inside. So, see you in the next one, bros.